Good morning. It's that time of year again. Uh, the stewardship campaign for our church has begun, and uh, we just wanted to introduce it to you. Uh, we're going to be starting the campaign for the 2021 operating fund. And this is incredibly difficult to do virtually because not only do we miss our church member friends, but I will not be able to hear people laughing at my jokes. Did they laugh? Yeah, they did laugh. Thanks. I did. All right, thanks so much. So anyway, we're here and the theme of this year is We Are the Church Together, which is the theme of the sermon series that David and Ann just completed. And over the next couple weeks, we'll have some video clips and things of that nature to show how important this church is to the community. And then on November 15th will be Commitment Sunday, which will be difficult possibly because of the virtual aspect but we just ask, uh, you will be getting a letter the next week or so uh, starting off the campaign, and inside that letter will be a pledge card and a return envelope, and we just ask you return it by November 15th so that your finance committee can work on the budget for next year. Uh, this operating fund is a $1.1 million budget that funds all the operations of the church and, vi and various programs and mission work, and it's vital and it's a foundation for this church and it, we just really need to make sure we fund it completely every year. So what I'd like to do now is just have Rebecca go through and discuss the importance of uh, the fact that we are the church together. Well, you know, Mark, David and Ann recently gave us a sermon series uh, that reminded us that we are the church. And a scripture they used referred to um, the great example in Acts of how you can create great fellowship. And I'll just paraphrase real quickly, but Acts 2, 42, the believers devoted themselves to teaching fellowship, the breaking of bread, and prayer. They met together in the temple courts and each other's homes. They praised God gladly, and God added to their number. You know, this church has had a wonderful tradition of doing that throughout the years and following that example. Of course, now during COVID, it's been very difficult for us to get together as a group. Um, but, you know, I really miss all those things that we enjoyed, especially the breaking of bread, the eating, the potlucks. I miss that. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> but we've, re we've continued to be creative during this challenging time to ensure that we remain connected as a church and also that we reach out to our community. We've continued with worship online that has been just really awesome. Uh, nobody's missed a beat, no pun intended, with David and the band. And also um, we've had Shannon doing really creative uh, sermons to the children. And then we've had David and Ann leading us spiritually. And we can't forget the tech crew that's here all the time religiously. Um, so we appreciate them and we know that 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 has continued to connect us. And now we are even having outside worship. We also have small groups that meet via Zoom, which can be different, but fun. The Sunday school classes are meeting, Bible studies are carrying on, committee meetings. And we have volunteers reaching out to those in the church who may be challenged technically, trying to help them connect to us. And also even the people that might just need help um, in, in many different ways through our Corona Buddies program. So we've stayed connected, um, but we've begun to bring back some also of the community outreach that we were doing before all this happened. Uh, Tuesday morning is back up and running. Wyoming, Wyomina Park Elementary, they just had a breakfast for the teachers over there the other day. Um, and we're continuing to uh, try to get supplies for organizations that need it in the community through our drive-through drop-off program. And we also are continuing to support financially our worldwide missions. So really a lot's been going on even during this really difficult time. Thank you, and I think that's a, that's a very important part is this church has truly remained connected and is a vital part of this community and also for the members of this church. I'd like to just say one thing in closing is next Sunday, November 1st, is All Saints Day, where we go through and we recognize and appreciate those that we lost during the course of the year. 
and we've lost so many people, so many vital members of this church and also friends of the church over the last year. And it's just going to be a very hard time. And without naming names, I just, there, there are some that, you know, we, we, Rebecca and I have met over the years at the various church services. There was a woman that was a part of a Wednesday night study group we had that was such a gracious person and so sweet and warm. You know, another woman 10 years ago we got to know because she was a historian of the church and she helped us develop things and she really showed an appreciation for this church and the legacy that we gained from others and how important this church is to the community and others. And then finally, there's another person I consider a dear friend and a mentor to many people in the church. And we lost him this year and he and his wife are an integral part of this church the growth of this church, the excitement in this church, and uh, and I, we had some times during the year that we had ups and downs, and he was always like an eternal optimist. And right now we're talking about press on, and I think of him, that we just need to press on through this, and we come out stronger, and we come out vital, and we come out and we leave a stronger legacy for people after us than was given to us, and we just need to press on through this, and just look towards the future and do what God has asked us to do and have a great 2021, which begins with the commitments we make financially to the church by the, the date I gave you before. Thank you so much. Thank you.